I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> go first. No, you go first. <laughs> okay. Well, I have an incredibly supportive family. Um, I think when they put me in riding lessons and bought me my first pony, they thought I'd turn 15 and give it all up. And boys. Yeah, they were like, oh, it'll be fine. She'll have cars and boys, and then she'll quit riding. And um, you know, uh, so I think for the fact that they never really signed up for this, um, they're <laughs> incredibly supportive and they do what they can and they do more than what anyone reasonably should do for their 23 year old child. Um, and not only the support of like enabling me, but the support of just being there. And you know, when I have a tough day or if I feel like my expectations of myself are bigger than what I can fill, you know, if that emotional support that a mom or a dad is anyways, I think is more important to athletes than anybody really realizes. So to have a family who supports you and loves you even though they question your sanity and your choice of work, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's wonderful to know that you have a supportive family and my, you know, my little brother, even though he doesn't ride, um, doesn't really understand the drive behind it all, he is supportive as well, even though my very expensive sport has probably cut into things that he may have wanted to do, but <laughs> I have an amazing family, <laughs> and they try very hard to make everything I want to happen. Um, with me, it's a little bit different. Like, my mom, my parents got divorced when I was 16, so my mom um, stepped up to the challenge, like, you know, to buy Hank. He wasn't that expensive of a horse but like you know she remortgaged the house and you know made every single sacrifice she could to help me chase my goals and dreams and um, you know like Steph was saying it doesn't matter if I'm having had a good show bad show whatever like she's always the first phone call doesn't matter she's like she's the one there supporting me like I said I didn't have a riding lesson until I was close to 17 just about 18 my mom taught me and you know, and I attribute a lot of my riding skills today because of her. Like she was the base to my riding. Um, she's at every show. Um, she's my biggest fan. And then in my case, I have a husband. <laughs> and oh, my poor husband. Uh, and didn't know anything about horses when we first met. I'm like, I'm at the barn from seven in the morning to seven at night. And never once has he told me I can't go to a show. I can't do this. You know, like he's giving me everything I can to go be the best at what I'm doing and you know he's so funny like last night he was even saying I know what a canter is now like I'm like <laughs> all right you know like he's he is so supportive and would do anything to make me better and um, I'm really really lucky to have a huge support system and same thing my brother played hockey and I always relate things you know with him with hockey so he understands <laughs> you know like for instance, when Hank was eight, I had a huge offer to sell him, and he's like, well, why don't you sell him? And, you know, I said to him, well, it's kind of like if you had a pair of skates that would kind of push you in the right direction to skate in the Stanley Cup final, would you sell them? And he said no. I'm like, well, there you go. And from that point on, he's, you know, understanding a little bit more, and you know, just to get like a text or some writing on my wall or my show, love you, support you, good luck, like. Yeah, it means a lot. I think, you know, everybody relies on their family, but um, those of us in sport and those of us who are so far away from home, um, it just is nice to know that you have family who's, <laughs> don't do it, <laughs> that you have a family who just wants it as badly as you do. <laughs>